Trying to jump scare you. Probably didn't work, did it? Well, I tried. Okay. Just got to do this outside because it's such a nice day out, but it was way too windy and way too loud with the cars going down the road. So, yeah. Hi, Freeside. Hi, John. Hey, Doctor Who. Hello, Coin Dude. Hey, Streamer. What's up? What's happening? Okay. Now, you're probably wanting to know what's the unthinkable. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. Hey, DTS coins. Well, this video, well, short video, has gotten so many views on uh, my channel. <clears throat> Let me check. I bet it's gotten even more since I last looked. We're in my kitchen, by the way. Like you couldn't tell. No, we're in the bathroom. Let's see. 10,000. 10.2 K views. Hey, Chew. Hey, Starika. So, I'm going to solve this problem once and for all. I'm going to finish this like I should have had to start with. I'm going to take care of you guys and get that camera up there. And yeah, my glasses have a glare. I can't help that. I need some. Do they make non-glare glasses. Say that five times fast. Today, dun, 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 dun. we're going to clean some coins, folks. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do it. These coins, trust me, y'all know me. I don't throw coins away. I don't clean. The only reason this is clean is because everything is over there. <laughs> I don't even clean my kitchen, so I'm surely the heck not going to clean some coins, but I'm going to today, friends. Now remember, just um, big warning, uh, don't clean coins that you want to collect. Only kind of coins I really clean, baking soda not best, what I'm talking about, are the ones that I'm trying to get the coin starter. Say, hey, that's an actual coin and not just a piece of metal someone's made round and stuck into the coin star. So... And I usually don't do memorial scents, but some of these are so funky that if they did have an error or variety, nobody would buy that. And besides, these Zinkins, look at them. I don't think that one's going to last much longer. It don't matter if you get it graded. Plus, it wouldn't grade. I mean, come on. Why the hell are you destroying coins? Because I can, Monkey King. Yeah. Because look at it. It's, I didn't destroy this. It's already destroyed. I'm just helping it on to the other side. You know, sometimes they need a little help. And it's like I said, you know, I usually don't even clean. Yeah, those Zinkins, got to get them memorial scents. Because sometimes, unless, like I said, oh, I have a really nice one in here. I had a better looking one that was actually so nasty it was broke off. 
it looked great. And check this out. Because we're not going to do just Lincoln Sense. We're going to do, <laughs> we're going to break your heart. And I'm going to break it good. We're going to do some nickels, some dimes. Look at that. Oh, he looks gorgeous. And some quarters. Check this dime. This is a dime. I would not lie to you. Okay. <laughs> this is a dime. Because this is a cent. So there you go. See, I mean, even if it had something, would you buy that? Would you just think about it before you before you <laughs> decide whether to clean it? Would you buy that? I mean, no, I wouldn't even buy that for one penny, much less a hundred dollars. Plus, like I said, you can't even see Lincoln on there anymore. Poor guy, he's had a bad day. But oh, one more thing, I almost forgot. Y'all don't look at my big booty. I know it's big, and I don't really care. Oh, snap. Okay, I know I'm going to have a lot of haters after this, during this, before this, right now, at this very moment. And I know I really don't care. Here are my weapons of choice. The trusty old toothpick. Old toothbrush. Don't get the one out of the bathroom that you're going to use. I mean, you can but I don't suggest it. Um, cotton swabs. Yeah. <laughs> I almost said something that would have got. Anyway, cotton balls. Look, it's Peter Cottontail's little tail. Yeah, I took it from him. I don't know if you can see that. Vinegar. Water, of course. This is baking soda. Trust me, it is. And that's a leaf. We're not going to use him. Not today. Some salt. A bowl. You know, just brushes and giggles. Um, <laughs> you're guilty as charged. Well, this is so that you can dis determine, you know, should I really clean that to see that date? Or am I just going to let it go? Yes, Sean, the cringe is real. And I'm ready to go. Catch it. Whoops. Or catch down. I guess I should have caught that ketchup. <laughs> Some dish soup. Toothpaste. I mean, I, I'm pulling out all the stops here, guys. Alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Not the kind you drink. I don't suggest drinking it. Acetone, everybody's favorite. And you probably recognize it, but it's my secret ingredient. Mm. All righty. So choose your weapons. What would you like to see first? And there's some, ooh, some nastiness going on in here. I'm going to attempt. Y'all remember what happened last time I attempted this little camera? But I'm going to attempt it again. I'm just going to see, you know, for poops and giggles if we can actually get a rise out of her today. So put in the chat what you would like to see first, the vinegar and baking soda and salt. The, uh, <laughs> that's for the pool. I can't put it on the coins. <laughs> that stuff's expensive. Ketchup. Just regular rubbing alcohol. Dish soap and water. Toothpaste. And let me tell you guys, I know y'all are probably like, toothpaste? What is this girl smoking? This is how I clean my jewelry. <laughs> you get the toothpaste. Hey, Grassy. You get the Hey, Flag City. You get the toothpaste that has the baking soda in it. And just like it scrubs your teeth, it scrubs your jewelry. and gets all those little gunky, nasty things that accumulate in your jewelry like dead skin and dirt and dust and dog hair and stuff yeah so the anxiety attacks coming i love it get pumped okay hey koi we're we gonna we're just gonna call you big so I'll call you robert anyway <laughs> i just seen the picture i'm just gonna call you robert Mm -hmm. 
what it oh the s o no the uh acid yeah that probably is okay you guys aren't picking so i'm gonna pick for you we're gonna start with the toothpaste because some of this has to be left on for a bit bring you down here isn't he pretty <laughs> And I know I said I don't do memorial scents, but if they look like that, I mean, get a tan on it, bub. I'm going to just give him a little bath. Some of it doesn't work for all. And that's why I've got so many different tricks up my sleeve. And y'all didn't even have to pay for this magic show. What do you know? A little water on that. Put some water on it. You will hear my child in there screaming bloody murder because he's playing a game and apparently it's not going his way. So, yeah. Toothbrush, not going to hurt, okay? Johnny, toothbrush is not going to hurt it. See, was that even a... Yeah, this was... Okay, I was making sure it wasn't that dime because, I mean, that dime is in such bad shape. I didn't, I didn't know if that was this or if this was that. Okay yeah oops i spilled thank goodness we're in the kitchen that really didn't do anything to the poor guy did it i mean if it's not as bad like this right here you could use it for this but i would suggest getting yes the dagger out you know the and okay for those of you with weak <laughs> with a weak heart don't look. I'm going to scrape this off first. Look, get in there real good. Scrape that gunk. I don't even know what that is. You know, when people put coins in their console, ugh. You know, nobody wants to touch that crap. Oh, look at that. It's nasty. What is that? Gum? Or like, just, I think it's just when it gets wet and then the dirt gets mixed in and then soda and beer and cigarette crumbs and ugh. Looks like my kid's ears. <laughs> anyway, you might want to scrape that off first. Yeah, get in there and get it good. And then we will do this. Actually, if you use a toothpick, it's very soft wood. It won't scratch it much <laughs> if you're careful. But, you know, I'm not here to be careful today, friends. No. Not wrapping nothing up. I'm not going to do it. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, see? Hang on. I don't want to get this all over the laptop. Boom. Yes, I put that. Oh, there we go. He looks a little better. The coin star will now say, hey, 10 cents. Awesome. Amazing. Instead of, eh, and spit it back out at you. Like they will, that guy. They'll be like, that's not even a coin, friend. Now, then I've got that all over me. That's what the toothpaste does, but I want to show you something else that it toothpaste can do. We're going to take it. Actually, we're going to take it on, yeah. Oh, this nickel. See that, that yellow? I don't want to know what it is. Don't know what it is. Don't care. We're going to put the toothpaste on it. Give it a little swirly, swirly. And we're going to let him sit in the penalty box. Let's make a penalty box for him. He's going to sit over here and stew in his own juices. Ugh. Don't that just sound nasty? Let me dump this. Yeah. Don't mind me. In my shorts, because I know you guys are north of freezing to death. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope y'all are taking precautions and everything and being careful okay like here's a okay hold on i'm gonna sneak that one back here i'm not ready for y'all to see it yet here's a nice little guy yes unfortunately it's a memorial it's probably like a 2000 no it's a 95 but it's not a double die obverse trust me it's a denver it's all i get are d's i never get p only d <laughs> don't want to be doing like it did when I was trying to fix my uh, clog in my sink and start making, you know, um, gas, you know, gases that are not supposed to be 
you know, made by accident. Do not mix vinegar and bleach. I did not, by the way. I'm just saying, just don't do it. Okay. Dish soap. Because the dish soap's not really going to hurt it. I don't think it will come back as being cleaned if you were to have a nice coin and get it graded. I think what they're looking for are the streak marks on it. Like if it has scratches in a certain pattern, swirls and stuff like that. They don't know if you used spit, which I do, um, dish soap, vinegar. They don't know what you use. I mean, well, you'll see they do in a very few minutes, but um, as far as like toothpaste and the dish soap, I don't really think it makes a chemical reaction to change anything on the coin. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, because I know I'm, I've been wrong more than once. Trust me. Ugh, that's nuts. I mean, you can see his face now that he has a face. Party foul, but he's cool. He said it was all right. He didn't even feel it. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Yeah. So it didn't really do much. You know, if you're scared to clean your coins, I'll be dang if y'all see me out here. But oh my gosh, somebody left a comment. Don't clean a coin from the 1800s because it could be worth a billion dollars. Who the crap said I was cleaning coins from the 1800s? And who the crap said I would stick one of those in the coin store to begin with? I don't care how crusty and tore up that thing is. I'd be keeping it. Hey, Zillazilla. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, name is Canada with Bruce. So, yeah, that was ridiculous to start with. And when you find that unicorn love, please let me know. I'd love to congratulate you. I don't see it happening, friends. Anyway, back to work. We've lost some people. I guess they passed out. Oh, wait, that's a secret ingredient. We're going to try one of these guys. That guy's for the secret ingredient. We're going to put him with his crust. I'm leaving his crust on him. You know, why not? Well, I've not got a buttload in here that are sacrificial. Trust me, they volunteered for this. They volunteered as tribute. <laughs> this was really not in that bad a shape, but I just want to show y'all what happens if you decide to do some crazy stuff like this. Cause I'm crazy. All right, here it goes. This be of a baking soda. My son didn't believe me. Is, is Robert still in here? Robert, if you're still in here, my son did not believe me that there was a song about something that had to do with baking soda. So I had to let him listen to it. And he's like, why? I'm a man, I don't know. But we thought we were cool jamming that because I didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> Y'all ever do that now that you're an adult, listen to a song that you listened to and sang along with when you were younger? You listen to it as an adult and you're like, oh, who let me go around singing that stuff? That's crazy. We're going to shake it up, shake it up till it bubbles up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake them. Sorry if that's loud. I'm not sorry. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Put some water on it. Just a little bit to make like a paste. Cause I just, I mean, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna do it good. Please. No, the ice cream man's already passed. We're good. Okay. Shake it up, shake it up, shake them. Now, here comes the fun part. And no, neither of my children wanted to participate today. One of them is grabbing at a game with his friend and the other one's still asleep. The vinegar. Woo! I just love that. Y'all remember making volcanoes when you were in the fifth grade out of Play-Doh and plastic two liter bottles? Sticking some vinegar in there and I mean some baking soda and then you get to school and you pour that vinegar in and you just explode it all over the classroom. The teacher just Loving your mama for doing something stupid like that. Alrighty. We're going to let them bubble up. Going to get a paper towel because I don't want to smell like an Easter egg. Let's see. I don't really think 
didn't really do much to, well, whoa, yeah, it did. I lie, I lie, I lie. He could have went a little longer, though. And let's rinse him. Oh, I didn't get another. Mmm, here I use this one. I'm going to rinse him off. Here he feels slimy. Hey, dreadful. Look. Ooh. Ah, oh, can y'all see? Oh, no, because there's no. There's, um, my dang big old thumb. There we go. It looks a little better. And I don't know if, let's see, hang on. Cartwheel's still there. Cartwheel's still there. So, I mean, I don't know if they chemically test these things, like I said, to see if they've been cleaned or if they just look for the streaks and swirlies and scratches. I would so be like, those aren't scratches. That's dye polishing. <laughs> and they're going to be like, this dye polishing, it would be behind Washington's head and not on top of it. But, you know, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would try my best. She doesn't want to save them. No, I don't want to save them. Don't clean coins that you're going to save them. How many times do I have to say that? I will say it till I'm blue in the face, I guess. Okay, let's see how this guy turned out. Oh, crap. I guess I needed more water. Mmm, that toothpaste smells minty fresh. <laughs> He's got a little sliminess on him, too. Really? Okay. Mmm, pretty. Ooh, ooh. You know, has anybody noticed that on these new Jeffersons, his face just cannot help but get scratched up? It's like his his face, it's always dinged up give it a swift give oh my kids a swift kick oh, or yeah you know, i'm sure i'm saying okay whoops okay let's see oh you know what he probably would have turned out okay if i had scraped that gunk off of his foot oh don't do that peanut butter to clean them no actually um coconut oil works really well but still you got then you got that slimy coconut oil and then you put it in your car and it's gonna look like that or put it anywhere that's got dust and it will accumulate more crap like that on it with the oil on it and how are you gonna wash the peanut butter off 710 with this so with your finger Lick it. I mean, still have to clean it one way or another. We'll put a little dish soap on this one. Scrub it, up, scrub it. Up. Okay. Yeah, if I would have put more effort in, which I'm just not feeling it right now, we probably would have got that off, but. Yeah, this really just makes them, really just takes that top layer off, you know. Oof. That's nasty. So nasty. If I was really given a poop, there's the toothpaste. <laughs> then I probably, oh, wow, that's not even a penny. I thought that was a penny. I thought that was the penny, but that's the dime that we found in the ground. Can y'all tell? Here, let me see if I can get this to work. Wish me luck. Um, not making any promises. Why isn't it cutting on? Well, there it goes. Oh, I hate this thing really bad. Man, it do not get along. Okay. Ooh, that's that dumb. Look at that. But hey, I did get a lot of... That looks like he's got... <laughs> you know like when people get broccoli and spinach in their teeth? That's what it looks like. He's got a little booger. He kind of had a little accident. His allergies are really, really acting up. 
Yes, uh, 710, you weren't here earlier, but yes, ketchup is on the menu. <laughs> this right here, guy, oh my. Yeah, that's actually a dime, I know, right? It's crazy. To Denver, so it's not going to have anything wrong with it anyways. Y'all know that. Usually most of the errors are fillies. And no, I don't clean coins from the 1800s. That's what crack smokers do. I guess. I don't know. Okay, here's... Okay, you see, this is... These, these are the ones that I'm talking about, friends. This is what I'm cleaning just in case you're curious, okay? Does that look like something you want to keep? Really? You want to keep that? Can't even tell what that is because it's blurry. Now, can you see what it is? No, you don't know. We don't know what that is. At one time, it was actually a Lincoln scent. Can you believe that? Even if it had an error or a variety, nobody's going to pay money for that crap. I wouldn't pay money for that, would you? I'm going to pay $10,000 for this crusty, beat up, nasty zincan that's going to be, look at that powder on my fingers, yeah. um, that's going to be rotten in two years, even if it gets slabbed. I'm telling you, you can't keep everything. It can, you can't just airtight seal something. Then it's always going to be a leak somewhere. There will be a hole in it somewhere, always. And I'm back. I know. Dang it. <laughs> now, we will do the ketchup. Please don't be loud. And you could shut that door. Just saying. I love kids. I just can't eat a whole one. <laughs> Let me turn that. This is, light is coming up. There we go. Now, I don't know, but that bear slapped a monkey last night, and he did not understand what I was trying to say. He comes in, and he goes, uh-oh, we're in trouble now. And I'm like, oh, gosh, he said, slapped a monkey. Now we all need to run. He didn't quite understand. I mean, it was probably 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And make sure you're as loud as you can possibly be, okay, because I'm online. Live. We're gonna take this guy right here. He's not the dirty birdiest, but he can use a little polishing. Oh, cop looking number one just woke up. Hey, bud. Yeah. You look like hell. Yeah, hold on, I'll get it in just a minute. He just only came in here for his phone. He noticed it was not in there. Look at that. Oh yeah, if you have a weak heart, do not. Oh watch these next few parts okay we're gonna let him sit for a while because it's best to let him sit oh, we'll put him in the penalty box with the toothpaste guy i'm gonna be so funky and stink really bad i can tell you it's right there dude right there mm. yeah it's 100 percent charged yep you're right mm. Mm. yeah yeah so take it bub you could also probably take this take all the little Fluffy, y'all. Hey, okay, yeah. don't spill my coffee. I'll get your drink in a minute. I'm almost done here. And maybe, like, you know, hold up. Ah. Okay, yeah, that's from the 80s. <laughs> it looked like it was 40s on the back, you know, and I didn't want, didn't want to mess something up. But, you know, you could probably take this and do a nice little uncrusting of the crust, you know, and that probably won't scratch it. Probably won't. That means, you know, no promises made, friends. How many times do you get online and search for an error or a variety and you come across this website that we won't say its name, but they have these lovely coins there. And they'll say, this is an error or this is a variety. $10,000. You see this, friends? This is not an error, nor is it a variety. This is what we in the numismatic community like to call a parking lot coin, okay? It has been run over and drug through the cement so many times, you can't even recognize it hardly anymore. 
You see that? That is not washing off, okay? That's not washing off. That's not scraping off. That's not flaking off. I wish I had a dryer core in here. I probably do, but I don't have it in here. I'll be right back. Trevor has to go to the bathroom. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. And we're back. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> Click the wrong button. Anyway, yeah, the dryer coins, you will recognize them because they will have all of the outside edge of the coin just flattened, lovely, and smashed. And it will look like it's a broad strike, but it's not. So, yeah. Sorry if I'm rushing through this, but I told them that we go fly kites in a minute, so I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> now, did I do? Oh, oh, alcohol, by the way, it does nothing. Okay, it will take the germs off. That's a good thing. Other than that, yeah, I don't know. Don't do anything. Now, this is my favorite, and I learned this by accident from my aunt. She says, hey. Girls, come here, I'm going to show you something cool. We're like, okay. So she had a packet of this in her car because we frequent this place until I realized what it does to coins. And I'm like, I don't think I'll open it in my tummy. Um, she had a coin. I want you to see the before. Make sure you check the date. No magical tricks going on here. Well, Oh, I actually flipped it right. Okay, now we take our secret ingredient. SpongeBob. Of course, I'm in the lid. Yeah, that lid's crusty, because I still eat this stuff even though I know what it does. <laughs> and just spread it on here, nice and thick. Ooh, we'll do this guy too. This one is actually a 72, but trust me, I already checked and he is, ain't nothing wrong with him. He is going to the coin star, going to the coin star. Now, on these, I would probably do it and still try to get it graded just because that's just me. These guys, not a good idea. And I will show you why. Oh, I hope y'all aren't like ready to murder me out there right now because I'm sorry, so sorry. But yeah, I'll throw this guy in there too, just because, I mean, <laughs> it's not like you could do any more damage to that dude. I mean, it's, it might would help actually instead of hurt. Now, I don't have any Nicodate because I don't believe in cleaning coins. So why purchase something I'm never going to use? So I can't show you an example of that, but I have something here that if you just absolutely positively cannot sleep at night until that coin is looking a little decent, 
I will show you what you can do. Let's move these guys out of the way. Move all this crap out of the way. My mother, whenever the new um, state quarters started coming out, started collecting them. She even bought a little book through Walmart, I think. Cute, right? Yeah, everybody does. Well, she couldn't get them in the book properly. And instead of doing what I do, which is take a cloth and smash the crap out of it till it fits in that hole, I, she, I mean, um, decided it would be a wonderful idea to tape them into the book. Now, mind you, those state quarters started in 99, right? So ever since 99, she's been taping these quarters in this book. God love her, okay? And I said, science, right. Um, I said, she, or she tells me one day, hey, I've got this book in here with these quarters in it. That's a collector quarter book. You want it? Yeah. She's like, okay, I open it and I'm like, And she says, oh, yeah, I had to tape them in because they kept falling out. I would have rather they fell out. So I get home, I'm crying because I know, because she used to bring me, she used to bring me bags of coins and go, guess what I got for you? And I'd say, a bag of crying Lincoln cents because his fast face just got scratched up. Don't ever shake them. People that do that, they'll have it in their pocket and they'll shake it in front of me. And I'm like, shake it one more time. You won't have anything to shake. Um, so she, and she's like, they kept falling out. So I taped them. I get home, balling. I look online. Is there anything I can do to save these quarters? Yes, there is something you can do. It is allowed. It is legal. But there is a proper way to do it. And I'm going to show you how. No, I'm not taking one of my coins out of my collection. Y'all are smoking that crazy stuff with purple polka dots on it if you think that crap's gonna happen. Gonna show you two examples because never do anything to a Lincoln scent, just disclaimer, except maybe a soft toothbrush and some Dawn dish soap. I wouldn't even do a toothbrush. Just use your finger with some dish soap and rinse it off. Dry it on a paper towel. Otherwise, don't take chemicals to it because you're about to see what taking chemicals to it gonna look like. Now, we have our lovely acetone. Just fingernail polish remover. Regular acetone fingernail polish remover. The regular stuff, regular fingernail polish remover, non-acetone, will not work and it will not even take really toenail polish off your toes if you coat them like I do with 47 layers. But you know, more layers the merrier. Now, you'll dip your cotton swab and you'll start at one end and roll. Do not rub, do not wipe, do not swirl. Don't even roll it back and forth like this. You just put it down and roll the swab and then i'll take if it's sticky tape like it was at the time i just push down with paper towel and then let up and the sticky tape would be on the paper towel not on my coin but you see how it does nothing it doesn't even really clean it there's no polishing of it see it's still dirty right there at the top i mean it really only works for gunky sticky stuff And you see, no harm done. Now, I don't suggest taking acetone and a um, cotton swab to your coin collection. Dear heavens, no. But if you maybe got a little bit of something, something on there, you just need to dab off. Yeah. Um, it will not take zinc rot off. It will not take... Um, carbon spots or anything like that. Even the little wash spots with the little soap spots, whatever they call them on the coins when they wash them and that stuff. Cause they wash them, but that's legal. It won't take that off either. Cause it really does nothing except get like, see the gunk is still on there. 
because I didn't rub. So it really is only good like to get sticky tape or sticky candy, stuff like that. That's just going to get on it in your car console. Now, I don't ever recommend doing it to a Lincoln scent. I don't care. If you think that you need to see something, get some Nicodate. I don't even think it works on that Lincoln Scents either. But because when you put this on a Lincoln Scent, I don't care how many times you roll it. If you swirl it like this, if you rub it like this, okay? You see, it's getting the dirt off, right? Your coin will turn pink as a freaking Easter bunny. I'm no lie, okay? Just watch. Whoops. Watch. Oh, it is actually a little better. Watch for it and wait for it. It's it's coming. Trust me. The, the pink bunny is about to be revealing itself. See, look at that. Blot it. Don't matter. Rub it because we're not keeping this ugly thing. I don't care if you do. Y'all ready for this? Please hold your breath because it's going to get nasty. Oh, dear. Did I just do that? Yeah, sure did. Boop. I don't like shield scents anyway. <laughs> I'm serious as a heart attack. That's why I picked him. I don't. I just don't like the design at all. I really, really, really don't. I mean, come on. We've had shields on back of coins before. What's new about it? Nothing. What's pretty about it? Nothing. What's cool about it? Absolutely nothing. And it confuses the crap out of you when you're trying to look for doubled reverses or double die reverse because the one cent looks like it's doubled when it's not. It's just raised so high up that it, it looks like that when it, it's a shadow under it. And it drives me batty. But you see how it's starting to turn a nice little pink color? Sorry that I'm not looking at the chat. I really do love you guys. Oh, and there's a little something I was going to tell you. Well, I'll tell you in a minute. It's not a secret. I just got to get through this because um, one's looking at me down the hallway like flying kites, remember? <laughs> I'll toss these guys back in here to get them out of my way. I had to try to sell that parking lot coin on that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would never do anybody wrong, ever. Y'all know that. Even if you did me wrong first, it doesn't matter. I would never do anybody wrong. I would just hold it in, hold my breath, and hope for the best. Because, you know, I don't have to do anything. Karma will take care of that for me, or they will wind up. That's a pterodactyl. They will wind up, you know, doing something to themselves, and I won't have to do it. My hands will be clean. Yay. Uh -huh. Okay. Now. Here we go. We're going to check these that have been in the penalty box. Like I said, I'm sorry if I'm going fast. Y'all can go back and watch it again. Here we have, ah, if I can pick it up. Toothpaste. Ketchup. And the secret ingredient, which I'm pretty sure y'all can recognize what the secret ingredient is. If you don't know, then you don't need to know. It's just that simple. Now, let me get this rinsed out. You know what? I've got a big back sign. I've had one ever since I was, since I can remember. So if you're talking about it right now, really don't give two poops because I know it's going to get talked about. And that's what I want to talk to y'all about while I clean this gunky. Oh, that's just nasty how it looked when I got it off. It was like not bubbly like I thought. It was stringy, okay? Ugh, I don't know what this yellow is, and it's coming off. Speaking of yellow, apparently my child cleaned his ears earlier with some of these cotton swabs, and they're in the trash in there, and I see somebody going to get their ears bubbled out tonight after bath because that was disgusting. Ugh. Anyway. Ooh, he's shining now. Nice. We'll look at these under the scope whenever I get them all finished here. Next is the ketchup. Okay. Not now now for the now for the lecture. <laughs> Not everybody is everybody's cup of tea. We know this, right? 
everybody has their own opinions and everybody likes different things. If everybody liked the same thing, the world would be a really boring place, I think. You know, we all like the um, the variety, not only of coins, but of people. Certain people have personalities that are funny, some maybe a little rough around the edges. Others might be downright Karens, but somebody out there is dealing with that Karen and being okay with it. Oh, a little yucky right there still. Oh gosh, this would this would the crap look like that came out of my, near my anyway. Um, no, I didn't really see how he cleaned his ears, but I know they were clean. Now, ooh, see how shiny. Yep, that is what the ketchup. Well, I didn't put it on this side though. I put it only on this side, I think. Either way, this is the ketchup. Make it soda, ketchup. Now, hot sauce. But back to the lecture. Not everybody's going to be everybody's cup of tea. You don't have to change your ways to be everybody's cup of tea. If they don't like you, they just don't like you. They will never like you, no matter what you do or how you change. And don't change for somebody. That's ridiculous. If they don't like you, then they're not the one for you. You will find someone else out there to be your friend. It's not worth your sanity and getting upset over just because one person in the whole entire world doesn't think you're top dog number one coolest. This one could have stayed a little longer because I've seen it do a better job. I think the packets work better. I've had this quite a while, so it's probably not very, it's probably kind of old. So, you need to stop worrying about, basically, what others think about you and if they like you. And only think about, do you like you? You know, because you are the only one that has to deal with you every day. You have to look in the mirror and see yourself. You don't look in the mirror and see anybody else. If you do, then you're probably part of the alphabet community. But anyway, um, yeah, so <laughs> don't worry if people don't like you or like your ways because there is somebody out there that does like you and does like the way you, your attitude or your personality. And when you find that person, Make sure that you stick with them because this is going to be a really cool combination of personalities and thoughts. See how it's turning pink? That's what will happen. We'll see if this guy does. I know, this, I know the Zinkins do really well. I have never tried it. I didn't waste my time with no shield scent because I just don't like them. I cannot like a shield scent. Sorry, dude. I just can't be your friend. But that's okay because somebody out there loves you and you probably made them a lot of it wow okay now this one actually didn't turn pink maybe yet maybe he's in the processes tomorrow we may come back and he might be pink but boy don't he shine up like a new penny <laughs> pun intended totally now I wonder what this one looks like he wasn't that dirty oh isn't that Y'all think it looks nice? Y'all should smell it. I mean, it just, the mixture of the vinegar and the toothpaste and the acetone and, and this ketchup and hot sauce is just, oh, so fragrant. <laughs> I'm going to smell, I'm going to smell like a Mexican food restaurant when I go out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just thought about it. I'm going to be smelling like I make tamales. I did not. I wish I did. But there you go. Because I know some people probably don't like me. They probably don't like my ways. Oops. Or my personality. Guess how many I give. It's less than one. I can tell you that. <laughs> now, let's check these stanky things in the scope. Or under the scope. We're not going to put them in it. I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. But if I could, I'd do it. <laughs> just because. And here we go. Okay. Here's the lovely 
Washington. You see, he's still dirty. <laughs> I probably, oh my gosh, look how, look how slick that is. Oh, you can't see it now. Crap. Look how slick that is. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one and get it graded. <laughs> yeah, no, not unless it's got some miraculous, like he's got three noses or something, then I might would consider it. But those are not boogers coming out of his nose. That's just this daggum light and how the fact that this doesn't want to focus. Focuses on everything except coins. There you go. Yeah. He didn't really turn colors, but he didn't really look pretty either. Here's the nickel we did with the, oh, I don't even know what that is. I think that, <laughs> I think that um, Rosie Dom must have sneezed and got it all over Jefferson too. Oh, look at that. Bless his heart. But you see that right there where it's starting to tone? That is not toning. That is where I scrubbed him and got that top layer off yeah oops here's the um washington from using the uh hot sauce see how scratched up it already is i mean it's not like he was going to be worth a million dollars none of them are i always tell everyone if you want to know how much a coin is worth first check it on ebay on the sold listings that'd be my first place to look and secondly, it's only worth what someone will give for it. I mean, it may say, oh, in the red book, this coin is worth $5,000. Good luck finding someone to pay $5,000 for that. Okay, I'm just not trying to burst your bubble or stop you from, you know, searching for that unicorn. But I promise you, it's going to be a while. And eBay is not where you're going to get it, okay? You're going to have to go to, like, Stacks and Bowers or something like that. Um, what's the one that's, what's the other, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I can't think of the other auction company right now, but I can't. No, 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 just try to slip my mind, which is so slippery. This is the memorial scent that we cleaned. It's a 2020. That was when La Mente didn't know that was BS government stuff. Don't fall for it. It's a trick. It's the same amount of mentage as they always do. And look at all them scratches already on there. So, I mean, I wasn't adding insult to injury. I was trying to shine him up before he goes to, to his death. You know, it's like being at the morgue. <laughs> Going to die anyway. I just made him look pretty before he got there. And there you go. There's that one. He's starting to turn a little dull pink. Yeah. I don't know what. Oh, God bless him. He got shot again. I hate that. I hate that for him. But you see this right here? You see that edge? Yeah, this dude don't got much life left. But the coin star will say, hey, one cent spent. Yay. And we're back. Okay. Now. There. You want to add that to your collection? You going to add that to your collection? Well, here, honey, I will send it to you. Please don't think I'm going to get tracking on it. By the way, if John Wolf, if you're still in here, I finally figured out how to work the pirate ship. And I printed the label and it's, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And I saved $2, two per package. And that was really, really cool. But I don't think, yeah, this eat up. Basically what I'm saying is, yeah, you can go out in the parking lot and find a decent coin. And it could be um, a 1992 close AM. If it isn't, we'll strangle you and take it because I want that one. Um, <laughs> but, um, because I know a guy that uh, when I started collecting, I looked everywhere. My first error coin, but not error, variety coin to look for was the 19, get off of there, 1988 with the 89 reverse. And I looked everywhere for months for this coin. A guy comes into one of the Facebook groups I'm in and he's like, hey, guess what? Found a 1988 with 89 reverse today. I'm like, oh, really? Where'd you find it? Coin roll hunting? 
No, it was under the floorboard of my truck, you know, under the little mat. On the floorboard, under the mat, in your truck. I mean, you... I've been looking for four months for that jewel. And this dude just randomly, hey, look, there's a coin under my mat. Let's check it out. It's an 88. Well, the 89 reverse. You know what? Just forget it. I don't even want to be your friend anymore. So, yeah. What does coins pay for? What does Coinstar pay for a Zinkin? One cent. But if you, if it looks like this, it's going to spit it back out at you like, I don't know what that is that you tried to feed me, but it's not a coin, friend. So we're cleaning them up so that we can have some vacation money. <laughs> so we can get to Oklahoma. When is that, by the way? I keep forgetting to ask. When is that coin show? It also throws out uh, pennies, trust me, that look like this. How do you think this guy's still here? <laughs> Y'all need to get a haircut and color because this gray is not very becoming. This is not very good lighting. I usually sit over there in the corner where it's no light so that y'all can't see all of my wrinkles. June 29th through July 1st. Why did I think it was May? Was there one in May somewhere? Anyway, I tried this new fishtail braid. Y'all can't see it, but um, yeah, it's a beast. Don't try it. Don't try it with your beard hair. It's awful. Anyway, so there you go. There's what happens if you clean your coins. You grab that, gotta go to the mess. <laughs> I know that's right. If y'all haven't ever seen my video of um, how to get coins during the coin shortage, watch it. It's hilarious because I, I, I can't. I, I was so excited that my neighbors and my children wanted to um, participate in that with me. And the cat, I can't believe the cat even cooperated. But it was fun. It was really fun. I'm gonna have to do some more like that. And if you saw my cooking video. Now I remember why I don't have a cooking channel. <laughs> At least not with my kids. Oh my God. I can't believe Trevor's like, Bleh, and smiles about. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not editing this because I don't have time or the care. Y'all know this is going. And he's like, yeah, I know. That's funny, huh? huh? He's like, fart next. So, yeah. I don't know what to do. Oh, what did I do with the oh? These are what all the water bottles in my house look like. Half water still in. Most of the time it's a lot, and I'm like, child, if you don't start putting the date and the time or what on there, you're gonna be drinking old water because I will save it and fill up new water bottles with it. Because that's costing money and that stuff is expensive. So if you're going to waste it, which we don't waste it because I don't waste anything. What I do is uh, there's a tea jug over there that's empty and I take it, rinse it out. And then I take all these water bottles that still have water in them and I pour all the water into those jugs and then I water my plants with it. <laughs> Look at Pippi Lawn stocking. Oh, yeah. See, the thing is, I don't drink water. Y'all should know this. I have to have um, crushed ice because I don't like water and I'm anemic. So I eat snow cones daily. And Trevor thinks that you're killing him if you make him drink water. And I make him drink at least one cup of water. It's a cup about that big of water a day at night. At least one he has to drink because he can't just drink tea all day. He'll get a bladder infection because he can hold his urine for a very long time. And so, you know, I have to make sure that it's flushed out. Jax has, um, he'll have soda, have water, and I got the little packets to make it Kool-Aid. Hey, Silver Sniper. Hey, Belt Loop. And hey, Darren. 
And so, you know, just to, because I thought maybe I would drink it if it tasted like Skittles. No, it doesn't really taste like Skittles, by the way. <laughs> Tastes like watered down Skittles, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Silver Addiction. But um, I forgot what I was saying. Dad, gum ADHD is so grand. But I take the water and I put it in the jugs. I remember saying that. Oh, Jackson, he'll have soda, he'll have water, and then I have cranberry juice, and he has to drink at least one cup of that a day. He loves cran, cran apple, though, so it doesn't really, it's not a punishment for him. For Trevor, you would think you were killing him and forcing him to drink poison if he has to drink water. I'm about the same way. That's why I have a snow cone. <laughs> There's nothing on the snow cone. It's just ice, but I just can't like water. So those of you who like water, I'm so happy and proud. Throw some lemon off in there and you won't get a kidney stone because the acid will break that down because I get kidney stones. Imagine that, I get kidney stones. It's not, uh, my sisters are calcium um, buildup. Mine probably are too, but I don't drink that much per day and she doesn't drink enough to go potty. I go potty every five minutes, feels like. I went earlier, by the way. And, um... So I keep my kidneys pretty well flushed, but she does not because she's at work and she didn't have time to go or something. I don't know. So she has to add water with lemon. She don't like water either. <laughs> I even bought this special water bottle that has a filter in it. Yeah, I've used it twice. Once was for me and once was because I just took it when we went on a picnic. <laughs> in case the kids got thirsty because I'm not drinking that nasty stuff, even with a filter. <laughs> But anyways, so yeah. Dorian Gray, that sounds like some, oh, wait a minute, never mind. <laughs> sounds like somebody familiar. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I don't know who that is. Really? Because I drink probably two. How big do the cups got to be? Can they be this big? Can they be this big? Yeah. I bought apples. The kids haven't even taken them out of the bag yet. They're like, well, what's apples? Because they saw the crunch and munch and the cookies and was like, no, I'll take that. Where are they? No, where are they from? Hmm. From somebody's basement, I'm sure, with some chains and whips involved. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's what, what are you talking about? Who? Oh, I ain't worried about it. Oh my gosh, Ikes! I thought that said I smoked pot. <laughs> Why did I think that said I smoked pot? I was supposed to go. Oh, really? Well, there you go. Mm. It was from the story I heard about, yeah, about a guy in a basement with a girl and some chains and whips and butt plugs or something like that. I don't know. I didn't read it, didn't watch it, but I heard a lot about it. <laughs> Just drawing the line from reality to fiction. That's what I'm talking about. And that stuff would never be reality at my house. P.S. By the way, that's nasty. Drink a pot of coffee. Well, see, that's why I have. Oh, oh snap. Hold on, guys. It's probably going to die. Oh, this cross the is nice. Why, why, why? I have to see my dirty kitchen. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to knock crap off and hit the button. I didn't even hit that button. Yo, last time I thought I had like so many seconds. Well, there went that. It's just a mouse. We got tons of them. Last time I thought I had so many seconds to plug in before she went kaput. Uh -uh. I had just enough time to say she's going kaput, and that was it. Now I gotta fix this mess. I, I'm I'm plugged to this mouse. Why is it still in here? Don't look behind me, okay? Cause it's not clean and dank. Don't. Y'all don't see that. <laughs> 
why are my arms? I know that I know I said that nobody needs to care and worry about what everybody else thinks. And I don't worry about what everybody else thinks. I just would like to be a little bit more proportioned. That's all. Why do my arms look so freaking fat on here? Okay, this is like, oh, and I know I'm getting up in years. Okay, and that's not becoming, but why do they feel like they're so okay? Now, Darren, dime bag, Darren, that's just that's uncalled. That will get you hurt. <laughs> That's like steel wool with her steel wool. That will get you hurt. Oh, by the way, answer this. Am I a bad mom because we don't use our kitchen table? So I put our pool table on it. We got a pool table now, though. I mean, you know. I use these, um, Ike's girl, for my coffee. And I'm almost out. I am out of the Starbucks, and that makes me sad. But I got this. <laughs> I've never tried it. Somebody gave it to me, and I'm like, De Death Wish. I'm not sure if I want to drink that. Well, see, it comes with this right here. So you can, like, put in whatever coffee you want. And then I have teas, different little, what's this? So this is lemon and ginger, elderberry and something. I don't know. A friend of mine, um, her daughter got, daughter got married and this was like, she gave everybody a little goodie bag basket thing. So, yeah. Even has hot cocoa. I got the kids some hot cocoa ones. They're really cool. You used to drink what all the time? Coffee or just, oh, Death Wish? I don't know. I mean, I'm already have a lot of energy. And I can just imagine that much caffeine. Could y'all see me hanging from the ceiling fan up there? Because I'd be doing it. <laughs> you know, I just, I just don't know how much. I like a little coffee with my cream and sugar. And when I told my grandmother she's making coffee, she's like, you want any sugar? Because, you know, she doesn't have sugar in her coffee. And I'm like, yeah. She's all, you want a teaspoon or two teaspoons? And I was like, three. Actually, I'd like a tablespoon. <laughs> She's like, what? Am I actually a tablespoon and a half? I mean, I'm not feeling very sweet today. So I got to make up for it by, you know, consuming more sweets. <laughs> she didn't believe me. I put like a tablespoon and a half. <laughs> of sugar and yeah i'm constantly filling up the sugar dish don't bother me none <laughs> get stuff done around the house i mean you see these walls i have to wipe those yeah where's sailor stacking hey sailor stacking anyways um and and i and i'm not trying to lecture you because i'll be the first one to do exactly the opposite of what i say because i don't know why but they be kind to each other. Nobody cares if you like so-and-so and, and they don't like them. Who cares? If you wait for everybody that you dislike to leave Walmart so that you can go up there and get your groceries, might as well pick another store, sweetie, because it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. There's always going to be somebody in there you don't like. And who cares? You don't have to talk to them. That's the best thing. You know, you can walk in there, get your crap, and just walk right past them. If they don't like you and you don't like them, they're probably walking past you anyway, not wanting to talk. So it's no biggie. If there is someone that you like on YouTube that nobody else does, go into their live stream anyway. They ain't your mama. They ain't paying your bills. They don't tell you what to do. You don't live with them. Okay? So do what you want. You know, if, if, don't go in there because so-and-so's in there. Don't care because... I still support the person who's having the live stream, whether that person's in there or not. Guess what? You don't have to talk to them. You don't even really have to say anything in the chat. You can just watch, you know, just if it's something that you want to participate in, then just participate. Or I don't know. There's a lot of people I, that are getting a little butt hurt in the world today. People get so butt hurt now about the dumbest stuff and it drives me insane i'm like you know what this stuff's been going around for ages okay there were people 
who were thinking these thoughts back when George Washington was president. And guess what? They kept it to themselves in the corner. Keep it in your corner. Don't bring it to mine. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> but just golly, I'm not learning anybody's pronouns. I've graduated high school and college. I'm not going back to take another language arts class. <laughs> it ain't happening. I don't have, and I'm not going to, there's no way I'm going to remember everybody's pronouns. How about I just say hi? And I ain't going to say nothing after that. Whether you're a male or a female, I better be able to tell by the clothes you're wearing. Or get that crap tattooed on your forehead. That way everybody will know. I am not about to sit here and try to make my life difficult for you when you're not trying to make your life difficult for me. What it is, is a bunch of sport rotten little kids that mom and daddy can't take that extension cord to anymore, thanks to CPS, and do what needs to be done, okay? If they would just... They bring back that wooden spoon. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. These problems would not exist. But mom and dad, which are probably my age now, um, pronouns are handsome and... Ch well, I identify as a rainbow unicorn princess and my pronouns are yes and beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Wait, not yes. Never mind. I remember in biology class, anatomy class in college, the dark professor said, would you rather be the one that shakes to the yes or the one that shakes the no? And I'm like, oh, I never thought about that. Because if someone, you want to go on a picnic? Yes, but you don't, you know, but you really want to go. And you want me to stick this in your butt? No. <laughs> I mean, just think about that. Random. I love ADHD. It's great. Um, but yeah, if we could just put the fear of God back in these kids, but you can't even freaking put the fear of it in anybody. Because if you say anything about religion, somebody's going to get butt hurt. If you say anything about politics, somebody's going to get butt hurt. You know what? I haven't had TV. How long have we? We've lived here for almost almost five years. And even before that, I have not had TV at all. No TV. YouTube streaming. And the kids stream some little cartoons off the Roku. But other than that, I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news. If there's anything to do with the weather, there's an app on my phone. And you know what? I am none the wiser, nor am I none the non-wise. Because what you don't know won't hurt you. Okay? Unless there's a nuke coming at me, I would appreciate y'all give a girl a text message. Okay? Let her know because she ain't watching it. <laughs> I don't watch CNN. You know, that's what a lot of old people do. And that's where they get their little arguments from because they're sitting watching CNN all day. Or they think it's CNN, but it's MSN and it's really some made up BS. But they think that it is because, you know. So on the TV, my grandmother believes it. If it's on the TV, it's the gospel truth. Okay. If it's on the internet, it's even double gospel. And I'm like, don't believe everything you see or hear, bonjour. <laughs> Because it's probably not. Did you anything? And what have you ate today besides popsicles and junk? I've eaten the popsicles today. Yeah, but you ate junk. Did you have any enchilada? Yeah. How much? Like. Just enough to get some snack. <laughs> ah! These people may have headphones. I know Darren has headphones on me. He will smack the crap out of you through the internet, child. Why? You because you'll that. hurt his ears. I know you ain't and just leave those out. <laughs> See? What, do I have to hurt your ears? I missed. What was that for? Oh, nothing. <laughs> hey, don't you do it. Why are you waiting like you're going to hit it when I throw oh, it? Yeah. Anyway, yes. before I tear up my kitchen, get out of here. I like kids, but I can't eat a whole one. <laughs> Not by myself, anyway. I'll try. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, so if people just keep that crap off the news, then, 
you know, my grandmother would have a happier day. So, yeah. Because I don't give two poops about it. Doesn't that make me a bad person? The world is going to crap and you don't care? No matter, I'm just one little person. And no matter what I do or say, my vote obviously doesn't count because it didn't count when I voted. So, there you go. I mean, yeah. He was having enough time and, of course, a freezer. What are you talking about? I missed it. That's cool. I don't have the mouse anymore. Because he acted a fool. <laughs> not going to say that. I am working very hard to not say dirty words. I will say innuendos. I can't help that. Okay, That's just me. That's my personality. You don't like it. Guess what? You can turn the volume down or, God forbid, leave. <laughs> I mean, just say, yes, one, duh. <laughs> I mean, those animal crackers need some friends. <laughs> just say, hey, Snipey Mikey. <gasps> Girl, I can't. I just said, hang up the mouse. <laughs> Love y'all so much. Bye, Silver Sniper. I hope what I said didn't make you leave. If it did, well, that just, you know, I'm just saying it. Not everybody's cup of tea. I can't be everyone's cup of tea because I'd spill over. My cup's small. I don't care. Is that the one? I don't care if you're whatever's. If you're showing stupid, I'm calling it out. Amen to that because I do have my... Okay, that's God knew I was such a badass. He put them right there. I got chesticles, you know. He wanted to make sure everybody could see that. But I don't give two craps. I mean, I'm serious. These people that just get butt hurt about stuff, I'm just like, why? Wow. There's so much more to worry about in life than what somebody's wearing, what somebody said about somebody, which I don't have time to gossip, okay? I can't even remember the crap I need to remember, much less everybody else's crap. I'm not about to try to remember it. You can tell me right now I'm the best secret keeper because you can tell me right now and I'll forget in about five seconds because I don't really, it's not on my to-do list. Boss Hoss, be nice, you're almost, I know I'm, oh, see, that right there. Mm, that right there. That's what I'm talking about. Be nice. You're almost to a thousand. You know, these. when I get to a thousand, it's going to be cool. I will, I will celebrate. But these people, I'm not going to monetize my crap. There's a lot more paperwork that I have to fill out. Now, I already forget to fill out paperwork for work, which I did forget to fill out last week and I got paid late. But, you know, I think everybody in here is probably already subscribed. I mean, that's why they're watching how they knew I was coming up here to destroy coins, you know. What gets me is mm, people. I'm not going to say it because I'm not that kind of person. I could go for days to rant and vent and go crazy. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to tell y'all what to do or who to like or who to not like or where to go and not to watch. And I don't know. It's not my business. You do what you want to do. You're a grown up, I hope. You know, I hope you are grown and can make these decisions on your own. But there are some people out there that are like, I'm trying to please everybody. I ain't got time. You know what I mean? Everybody's is out there and everybody has their own opinion and their own set of likes and dislikes. There's only one of me. I can't do that. I'm, and I don't expect anybody to do that for me. God forbid. Don't try to change your ways for me. If I don't like you when I see you, then I just don't like you. And it's not anything personal. It's just I don't like. Lo for example, I don't see myself drinking this. And I know for a fact this is decaffeinated. I'm not going to touch my lips, okay? <laughs> I don't drink non-caffeine, okay? But that doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't like it and I could give it to them or just trash it or stick it in the donate bin whenever you donate to stuff. You know, that doesn't mean it's bad tea. It just means I just don't like it. You know, and if somebody else is just doesn't like coffee, you know, that doesn't make them a bad person. You know, just 
be like, hey, I don't like tea. Okay, well then leave. This is a tea house. <laughs> okay, well, sorry, I came into the wrong door. <laughs> Go to over there, you know, where the coffee shop or the soda shop is, you know, it's just whatever. Yes, you will make yourself crazy trying to please everyone. And that's not your position in life, okay? Let me tell you right now. Thankfully, we were not given the job to, to judge people. God does that. So we got that taken off our shoulders. We don't have to worry about that. God's like, I got you on this, bro. So you just leave that to them and do your thing, okay? Don't sit there and worry about, oh, so-and-so and so-and-so. That's not your deal. That's not your, that's not your job. You don't get paid for that. You don't get extra bonus points for that, for heaven, nothing. God's like, why are you trying to do my job, if anything? You know, <laughs> I ain't trying to take the man's job. He's got too much already on his plate, and so do I. So why throw something else into your already busy schedule and throw it off life, you know, that you don't have to necessarily do? Just That's just added stress that doesn't have to be there. You know, I'm like I was saying, some people probably don't like me. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and I'm not really trying to be, okay? If you like me, you do. If you don't, I don't care. I mean, it... I probably don't even know you and I will never meet you. And so, I mean, I love each and every one of my subscribers. Don't get me wrong. But if I'm not what you thought it was going to happen here, don't stick. Don't stick around. There's no reason to, you know. I'm not going to go stand in line for four hours to ride a ride at the carnival that I know I'm not even really going to get on. <laughs> I've just been standing in line to look cool, okay, just like everybody else. We're gonna ride this, yeah. We're cool, yeah. And then I get up there and like, nope, not happening. I don't know what y'all drinking, but I'm not getting on that scary looking ride, you know. And I don't have to. And I'll still be just as cool and sweet and not sweet that I was when I walked in that line. Now, if I ride it, it's not because I wanted to. It's because I thought I had to, to make everybody else happy. And if you go through your life doing that, you're never going to get to do what you want to do because you're constantly doing what you think they want you to do. And when it comes down to it, that's probably not even what they're thinking. You just assume that that's what they're thinking. So you try to go the extra mile for no reason. It's really not going to do anything. You've Wasted your time and theirs, and then you could have been, you know, off riding rainbows, jumping on um, mushrooms and frolicking with the unicorns, or God forbid, I hate to move my arm. I don't want to see what that devil looks like. Ugh. What's up, baby? She just woke up. Hey. hey. Look at your hair so pretty. Yo, it's bath night tonight, so don't judge him right hey. now, okay? He's really sexy in the in the daylight on a different day <laughs> when he's had a bath. Mm. Yeah, say hey, what's up? Mm. He's not everybody, he might not be everybody's cup of tea. He's my cup of sugar though, aren't you? Hey, get out of there. I didn't clean that oven still. Don't judge me. I don't care if you do. The oven's still dirty. And you know what? The food is still gonna cook in it. All right, dude. Mm. Mm. We're gonna go in a minute, okay? I gotta do this real quick, and then we're gonna go fly kite. Our neighbors across the street love them to death. They bring goodies, and we send goodies all the time back and forth. They got Jax and Trevor this giant kite, and I can't wait to go across the street to the other neighbors down here who has a big empty lot that said we can fly kites in, because we can't. We have too many trees in our yard. But yeah. yeah, you're fixing your sewing machine. I need to get a sewing machine because hand sewing is getting really, I can't see that well, even with my glasses. And so it's hard to thread the needle. And the arthritis is starting to come up. I'm getting old. If you're out there and you're getting old and you don't like it, raise your hand. Because I don't like it. What is this? I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. It doesn't make me a bad person. I said, I told y'all I'd go against what I said. It doesn't make me a bad person. It just makes me feel bad. 
No, I feel bad that anybody sees it because I might fly away next time I try to wave at somebody. I could take flight any second. You know what I mean? Mm. Baby, they just got on the, see this right here. They just got on the charger and he's already throwing a fit for him. Instead of just walking away, letting it go. He raised both hands, dropped the phone. I know, right? Mm. Is that somebody mowing our yard? Hold on, guys. No, it's not. Okay, good. It's the neighbors because that's my job. Dang it. I like to mow the yard. <laughs> I'll get mad. Sometimes they do, though, because um, the guy that mows the neighbor's yard across the street, his um, wife also homeschools their children, and I send all of the stuff that we're finished with over to their house because that stuff gets expensive, and they've got like five or six kids. And so I don't, I, can't, I couldn't sell people in hail ice water. They would tell me that it really wasn't that hot and they really weren't that thirsty. This child could sell them matches and tell them they were magical for a hundred bucks a piece and sell out by, you know, in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Baby, they're, take them. Sometimes you just got to let them jump. You know what I mean? Even though you tell them and tell them and tell them not to do it, it needs charging. You, they got to find out for themselves. Let them jump. I don't care. Still going to cushion the fall, but not as bad. Please tell Trevor his girlfriend is on here. <laughs> Lorelai's on here? No, just kidding. I think he's got a thing for her, though. <laughs> you see where he goes. He doesn't even care about that. But I try to pretend that my arms are big because I've got If you don't laugh at that, then you're just not going to laugh at anything today because that's the, look at that. I mean, come on, guys, look at, hold on. I think it looked better with that because I had a little more shadow. <laughs> Check out them shoulders. Man, if y'all could see my back, I'm going to have to let y'all see my back one day. I'm going to put a, well, see, we're not on this side. It don't work. Because <laughs> I'll be, in, I'm just, I'm worse than the guys, yo, because I'll be in front of the mirror like, I have such a guy's personality. I know that's not for everybody, which is why people see hardcore copper in a chat and they automatically think it's a guy because not that I don't like girls. I mean, I don't like girls like that. No, 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 no. But I just, oh God, I can't do the fingernails and the hair and the makeup and all. That's just sad there. And again, that's just too much of my time for no good reason at all. Because lady, I mean, gentlemen out there, them ladies are not getting dressed up like that for you. I can promise you this, okay? They're getting dressed up like that for the other ladies. <laughs> because somebody in the store is going to say, mm, look at her. She ain't even got no makeup on. I don't even think she brushed her hair today. You see this shit? Are you looking at her? Are you looking at her? <laughs> you know what? I'm like, look at me. Don't care. I'm in here to get groceries. It's not a pageant. And if it was a pageant, my bad, I walked into the wrong store. <laughs> I'm in the wrong place for sure. Didn't mean to do that. I'm getting a haircut. Y'all say bye to it. Bye. Look at that crap. I'm way too old to have this much hair for this long. Oh, that's going to hurt. They took pictures earlier and they are dressed up for, the, for Instagram likes. Dressed, I'm telling you. Or they've got a filter. I took a picture with a filter one time. Did y'all see? Oh, man, I need to post that on here. It's hilarious. I'll do it again, too. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have any. Hold on. I got this one. We'll count it as a filter. So. <laughs> I took the air conditioning filter. I was going to get in. I was going to go to the grocery store and get in the aisle that has all the coffee filters. And I was going to say, uh oh. I took, look, I finally took a picture with a filter and have all these filters behind me. I was like, did I do it right? So I didn't have that, but I had the air conditioning filter and I took a selfie with it. So I finally took a, a selfie with a filter and everybody's laughing. I'm like, but did I do it wrong? Mine didn't turn out like everybody else's. Hey, Shell. 
It was hilarious because I really don't care. I'm trying. I'm here to make you laugh or cry, depending on you know what you do to me. If you got an oily filter, you need to wash it. <laughs> Heck, I don't even know where the oil filter is in this car. These new cars are so messed up these days. I, I'm, I wouldn't even, I would not change the oil myself in this car. Let's just put it like that. I don't even know if I'd change the tire. It's truthfully, because I, they don't, mm, it just don't make them like they used to. Where they cared, like Jackson, he'll say stuff like, um, I'm sorry I'm turning this into a uh, rant or whatever. Um, what is that called when you get off on you're talking on a tangent? Turning it into a tangent. But he'll say, why does everybody's stuff break? And they make this stuff just so it breaks. Uh, so you have to buy new and blah, blah, blah. And I always try to see the best in people and stuff. I'm like, no, no, no. They just It just was an accident. It, was, it didn't mean. No, they build that stuff on purpose to break on purpose. <laughs> They built it crappy. So he had this invention. It was a vacuum cleaner that only sucked up fleas. And I said, we had a flea issue at the time. And I said, baby, there's, you can't do that. You can't just, it's not going to just suck up fleas. It's going to suck everything up on the floor. So you're going to have to he'll go back to the drawing board. And he's like eight. And I can't let the cat be purple for some reason. But I'm like, go back in there and try again. You know, and he, so he goes in there and he's like, okay, it sucks up everything. But it has a little container that everything filters through of salt. And I'm like, okay, because that's the best way to get rid of fleas, by the way, especially if you have small kids or animals. Don't put chemicals on your floor because I can't do that with Trevor. He's got asthma. Just get some table salt, sprinkle it on your carpets, leave it overnight, vacuum it up in the morning. No fleas. Because one, it um, cuts the adults and... Um, they will dehydrate, bleed out, you know, and it dehydrates the eggs because we didn't know. But when any vibrations occur, that's when the eggs will hatch. So those eggs will sit dormant until there's a vibration. Rain causes the fleas to actually lay the eggs. So after it rains, eggs get laid. Um then when anything, that's why when you go into like a place that hasn't been inhabited for a while by humans or animals, like a rent house or something, and you walk in and you get eat the crap up by fleas, that's because those fleas were sitting there waiting for who knows how long for you to vibrate that floor for them to start hatching. I did not know that till I saw it on the internet. It's kind of freaky and creepy to know that. I got chills. That's not good. Yes, that's really good too, um, Don Beg. But I don't have that last time I looked in my pantry. So I like to keep my stuff, you know, basically with stuff that's already in the house. See, and see, once you vacuum it up, use it again. With the salt, you don't have to worry about that. One vacuum and you're done. One and done. That's the way I like it. And I like to already have the crap at the house because I'm not always going to the store, nor do I want to. Or could I get kids to go? So, yeah, but the salt on the carpet is a good idea. So, that was supposed to filter through this little container of salt. I got back on the main road. I knew I was, I could turn around. There was big ditches down that road. But anyway, so he's like, okay, they go through the filter. And I'm like, oh, so this salt is special salt that can only be bought by your comp through your company. He's like, no, no, it's regular table salt. I'm like, no, 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 it can't be. Well, why not? I said, because you may only sell one vacuum. You've got to get those people that got to come back so you can continue to make money because you've got to pay your workers. You've got to pay for your factory. You've got to pay um, for the electricity. You've got to pay for the parts. You've got to pay for the supplies. You've got to pay for all the equipment. And if it breaks, to have it fit. You know, I'm telling you, I can't let the cat be purple. No surprises here, friends. I let him break it down. OK, and he's eight <laughs> at the time. So I'm like, and you got to have like a faulty wheel or a belt that breaks real easily. Well, that's just mean, mom. That's just doing people wrong. I said, that's economics, baby. <laughs> you got to keep them coming back. <laughs> so, so that has to be where you. Salt is the trick. I'm telling you. 
Now, um, but you do want to vacuum and clean everywhere because if you bring them in from outside, you're just going to reinfest yourself. So make sure you put something on the dogs, like some skin so soft or something, you know, Avon skin so soft. Don't put it on their skin. Can't stress this enough. Put it on their fur. Do not douse your dog or cat in some skin so soft. I mean, I haven't ever tried it, but let me tell you, when I seen what the Dawn dish liquid did to the cat, it burned its skin. I mean, like the hair fell off this poor thing. And it, Jax was little. He didn't understand. And I was cleaning outside dishwasher. I um, had the bucket with dish soap and water. I was washing my car. And he grabbed it. Thought it would be funny to throw it on the cat. Yeah, it wasn't a good outcome. The cat was bald in those spots where it hit for like ever. <laughs> So I don't know if it burned its skin or whatever, but you know, I just, I just wouldn't do it. Yeah. What will harm animals? Salt? Or are you talking about the skin so soft? I mean, so I'm saying put it on their fur where they can't lick it, but don't put it, I would not like just on my animal like that. No. And then I'd probably wash it off. It's just really the scent you need. Get some tea tree oil. Get some tea tree oil and some coconut oil. Because tea tree oil, if you've ever smelled it. See, that's what I was thinking, Ice Girl. That's why I was thinking. I wouldn't, you know, they're like all the time. Give your, oh, the salt? Yeah, probably on their feet, on their pads of their feet. I didn't think about that. Um, so put the dogs in another room while you sprinkle it on the floor and leave it. <laughs> Make sure you just do one room at a time. That way you can just move them around or take them out for the day and let them play outside. Um, we didn't have animals in the house when I did that. It, I was just trying to, I didn't want the kids to get into any poison or anything. I don't like spraying stuff because that goes everywhere. You think it goes in that one area? No, that stuff gets the air and it goes wherever it wants to go. And then you walk it everywhere else. So, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. And you know what? No giveaways. And I still have people in the chat. And this was over like 45 minutes ago. <laughs> See, that's how you know. That's how you know you got your peeps with you. Okay? That these people are your people. Because they're not here for a giveaway. They're not here because you're dressed some certain way. They're whatever. They actually like you and your personality or at least they like people in the chat whether they like me i guess don't really make it. no never mind anybody just talk it up amongst yourselves you know but yeah i'm pretty sure that it gets dark at alexa what time does the sun set sunset in huntington will be at 6 14 p.m today 6 14 so i don't have much time left and i told them we were gonna go fly kites so the unthinkable thing that I did, I cleaned coins, DK. You have to go back and watch it. It's awesome. Scratch the crap out of them with some steel wool. And then I got some sandpaper and sand it down. And then I got a sand blaster. And we just lined them up against the wall. <laughs> Execution style. Not really. I just used like baking soda and vinegar and some toothpaste. <laughs> but it, they, everybody in the chat thought it felt like sandpaper and steel wool. <laughs> But trust me, let me show you. I don't think this guy's gonna grade, okay? If you're wondering why he's pink, it's because we, you know, put a little hot sauce on him. He got hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh, I'm crazy. It's okay. Yeah, this guy, he's, you hear that? That's a zinkin'. I will drop a copper. I don't even care. Heck yeah, I'm a freaking nut. And you wouldn't have me any other way. <laughs> Except maybe with not trash in the background. Wait, that's my cup. We're cool. I'm not drinking that one, though. I'm drinking my coffee because I'm already, you know, well. Boil it. I didn't think about that. Does that work? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that'll disintegrate it even faster than it's doing now. Let's do it. We'll do that next time. <laughs> Just to see what would happen. I'll set it in a whole cup of acetone. 
or I'll go out to the pool and get the, you know, pool stuff, the acid and muriatic acid. Yeah. Actually, I can't right now though, because it's almost pool season. And when we open the pool, I got to vacuum it, clean it and get all those chemicals in there. So if I have any left though, <laughs> mm -hmm. dang. Well, friends, we're out of coffee. That means we're out of time. <laughs> Three glasses already, yeah! I'm right there with you, girl. I got some nice coffee in the fridge. Just what I'm talking about. Anyway. <laughs> it was weird. Oh, y'all know my house is haunted, right? I need to get, oh. I need to get a spirit box. I don't know, I'm afraid to do that in my own house because I really don't want to talk to these ones. This, I talk to them all the time anyway. Especially legs. Hey, legs. Hope you're having a glorious day. Legs lives in the fireplace. Jackson says it's just legs and that he can't leave the fireplace. Flies, because I saw him walk out not too long ago. Walk right past me. I was like, where the hell you think you're doing, friend? <sighs> Thought you couldn't leave the fireplace. I don't know who is haunted by, but one of them is a little old man and he tried to eat my Oreos and I gave him a fair warning. He was not going to eat my Oreos, whether he was in the pantry or not. Didn't make no, never mind. But I didn't see him at first. Trevor sits here to eat at the um, island. And I was dinner time and I was getting his stuff ready. And he's just waving down the hall at somebody. And I'm like, what the crap are you waving at? And Jackson had already seen a few things because he can see things like that. But I was trying to play it off like, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so he's just waving, and I'm like, what are you waving at? And I look down the hall just about the time. This little shadow of a little hunched over guy just walks from my bedroom to the pantry, and I'm like. And Jax is like, what did you see? I said, nothing. There's nothing. And then I said, I get over to the end of the bar. I'm like, you get in there, and you get my little Debbie's, and it's going to be a bad day for you, friend, okay? You might as well just keep on moving because we ain't having it here. <laughs> My little daddy's was in there. Got to keep them things safe, you know? Then one time I was out um, smoking in the uh, carport, and I could see, it wasn't really windy at all, but I could see the flag just fly, flopping, you know, and the shadow of the flag flopping. And I'm like, it is not even windy. Why is that flag moving? I turn around and look. We didn't have a flag up that time. I'm like, oh, well, I just almost killed a flag that's not even there, mister, because of, you know, as I talked to him, shit, I talked to anybody, y'all should know that. But Jackson says they're scared of me. <laughs> Imagine that. Because I don't take no crap off of nobody. I told him if he would start acting like that, they'd leave him alone. Well, he came hauling out the bathroom one day. I'm talking like buck ass naked down the hallway, white as a sheet, holding himself because, you know, he was naked. And um, said that there was uh, something. I don't know. It was, I don't think it was a demon, but I don't know what a demon looks like either. So, but it was on all fours, he said, and crawling across the bathroom floor. And then it turned its head like all three, you know, all the way 180 and looked at him and did something. And he said he went, I'm out, <laughs> you know, and some not so nice words when he, you know, was running down the hallway. So I go up in there like, who's in here? Who's in here right now? I swear to God. God, I will tear it up. You thought you had a bad last day the first time? I'm just going to make a second bad last day for you, friend. Because I don't like, I don't even like dead people messing with my kids. I'm just like, <laughs> don't mess with my kids. It's just not going to be good for you. Okay. Old woman rocking in a rocking chair at my butt. Oh, you know, my sister saw one of those in a window at, her, at, at our friend's house. She saw an old lady in a rocking chair. Well, just go in there. It's like Jackson. He's like, he came when we lived out at the lake. He kept coming in the house like, did you call for me? And I'm like, no. Oh, okay. And he'd go back out. Because I'm not a redneck. We live in the country. But I'm not about to yell out the door, Jackson! No. I hate that. That is, that's just not me. So we have a, 
like that. I whistle for him. And, you know, the birds kind of sound like that. So I'm thinking, okay, he's hurt the birds, you know. So he comes back in and he's like, what do you want? And I'm all, I didn't call for you. What did you, I not get. So the third time he comes in and he's looking not so upset or happy, he's like, are you sure you didn't call for me just now? I'm like, I didn't whistle, not even a, a hum a tune. He's like, no, I mean, call my name. And I was like, no. He says, somebody's out there then calling my name. And I said, well, maybe they thought you were going too far in the woods. Maybe they sensed danger. So they were calling you back to keep from getting hurt. I said, next time they call your name, just politely say, I said, does it sound like a female? Obviously, it sounds like a female because it's my voice. I said, say, ma'am, can I help you or something like that and see what they have to tell you because they're obviously trying to get some type of message out. You know, I'm just saying. Don't be mean, you know, like me, which that one I had to be mean to because he was, I mean, could have been a demon. Not up in this house, friends. Ain't happening. Yeah. I am nice, but I can be mean when I need to be. Who goes there? Don't no, work I'm not no more. scared of you. I'm desensitized to that crap. It don't work no uh, more. No, but you almost gave Courtney a heart attack. Yeah, oops. He's so sweet. She comes to give him a kite and he gives her a heart attack. With ping. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here. Are you ready to fly a kite? I guess. Let's Maybe. go fly a kite. Oh to the highest height remember 80 grit works on corn no 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 120 you want some fine scratches on there some fine scratches <laughs> do the 120. <laughs> anyways i'm our core copper i'm out of here laters and loves guys and we'll see you in the next one <laughs> he might not be seeing anybody <laughs>